Uh, my name's Jack Brommel. I'm here at Miranda Gallery on High Street in Fremantle. And my show is called Fleeing Home. Basically what I'm trying to do with my images is I want to create a reaction in whoever's looking at it. I want, I want them to think. I don't want them to just look at a painting and, and be like, oh, it's pleasing, you know, it's aesthetic. I like it, it's pretty, but have no more connection with it. I kind of want my paintings to reach out to people or connect with people somehow. So that's kind of like, that's pretty much my greatest motive in doing it. The process in doing it is that I'll either kind of draw inspiration just from my own mind or I'll look at an image I'll search, I'll look through magazines or even on the internet just for um, a picture of a person or multiple people but an image that's particularly interesting like the composition and the arrangement of or even the expression on the person's face or their body language or whatever I'll choose an image and then based on that I'll just I'll basically just take it on and then make it my own with my own style yeah so it was in November of last year, um, and I was, I've been going to an abandoned power station, which is um, pretty close to here, it's in South Coogee. And I started going there because it was this beautiful old building, like covered wall to wall in graffiti. All the fences were knocked down so I could literally just stroll in there off the beach. Um, so I'd been going two or three times and I'd started, I guess, taking it for granted, even though I knew that it was illegal. I didn't see that I was hurting anyone and it was just a good place to practice. So I was there this one day and I'd already seen a couple of people in there, a couple of young guys doing some graffiti on the walls. And then I heard these footsteps um, and I was set up in, this, in a room, kind of in a corner of the building, recording myself with my camera painting. All of a sudden I turn around and there's these two cops just come out of nowhere. One of them has a tase gun and he's pointing it straight at me. And I was in total shock, obviously I was freaking out. But anyway, I was arrested. Um, I was charged with property damage and trespassing. I guess instead of feeling disheartened or like ashamed by what happened, I kind of used the adrenaline in the opposite way. So I felt more inspired to continue my art instead of the opposite. So I started going to different galleries and I went into um, PSAS, which is around the corner. And I walked upstairs and I met Guillaume and, I, and we, we sat down together and we, would, we kind of started brainstorming ideas and trying to dissect really what, analysing my art to see kind of what was a, a consistent theme or what was kind of an underlying theme with all of the images. And we realised that a lot of them, a lot of my images contain um, these kind of skeletons of buildings or like ephemeral buildings um, with people surrounded by these buildings. So that kind of led us um, to fleeing home. And that, for me, I realised is, is an, my art is an expression of this feeling that I have where everywhere that I seem to go and even living and moving between Bustleton, my hometown, and Perth, that I'd never feel a sense of belonging or a sense of, of real, that, that real feeling of home.